Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 175, rolling ourselves to the end of August. We were off two weeks ago, which means it's been about a month. Uh, we already have a couple people chatting in the chat room, hanging out with us here as we do this meeting. Uh, I don't expect this to be a too long a meeting because um, we're just going to do triage. Uh, because, well, it's just kind of the way this week, last uh, week, last few weeks have gone. So we'll do triage and we'll cover questions, comments, since some people are chatting here in the chat room. I expect we'll have something to talk about. As always, these meetings are recorded for those of you uh, that aren't with us right here, right now. Uh, let's go do triage and then we'll get caught up on what Eric and Jacob are talking about in the corner over here. So, Bob, you ready? I'm ready. Woohoo, all right. Skipping the top two because that's the way I still am doing this. Um, let's get a scroll bar here. Just a little bit. Two. There we go. Now we can fit them all on the screen. Um, files in use does not show application uh, or name. Oh, didn't someone already point out this was a dupe? Yep. And oh. there's a pull request for it. Great. So we will talk about pull requests another day because I was unprepared to talk about pull requests today, but I'll take a peek at those, and if they're obvious, we'll kind of work our way through them and just resolve them. So uh, this can be resolved as a dupe, right? Or is it, yes, hopefully the pull request is against 50201. 5201, not 50201. Isn't that a TV show? I don't know. <laughs> Beverly Hills 502, never mind. I don't know. No, it's not. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, so let's dupe this to that other one, and then we'll go resolve that other one. Since yay, someone's finally submitted for us. Um, we're at COM Plus now, which we were talking about last week. Um, I think we resolved the design discussion, and Eric and Jacob are actually talking about this over in the corner here, or on the side, I guess, not the corner. Uh, we should put this in 314. I can do that right now. Um, and put the correct label on it. Um, to go make this go happen, because I think it's happening. Yay. Okay. It's been discussed on Wix devs and things like that, so it's it's moving along. Um, I have to admit, I don't know why this is still open. What did I forget? Oh, it seems unnecessary. Yeah, so this is something about DTF parsing custom action data. This is a bug, right? To get fixed in four. Uh, I guess I didn't. I didn't look at the code, but it seems entirely possible there's a bug when it comes to parsing this sort of stuff. Yeah. For, yeah. Unexpected values. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So yeah, someone should. Can fix that. It's not blocking things. Um, insignia cannot create file when file already exists, which is interesting. But they didn't send us the information you asked, did they? Um, yeah, well. They need to look in the log file. That's my assumption, yes. Yes, cause it's not in, it's not going to be in the output here. Unless they're calling it themselves. Uh, uh, no. No, it says they're using the targets. But I'd expect the stack trace to appear. It should be in the log file. It may not get printed out to the screen because there's a new line on it, I think. And that sometimes confuses things. No, they're using some kind of CI build tool here, but I don't know. I don't know what that does. Don't either. Um... Uh, I'll add a comment that the stack trace should appear in a verbose MS build log. Yeah. Below this line here. Uh, below right. the line here. There's like, here, this happened. By the way, here's where it happened. And then that where it happened helps us if this error message alone isn't sufficient. Definitely not sufficient. Not in this case. An intermittent bug like this? Yeah, not much fun either. That's, well, yeah, if they catch it once, the stack trace will be like, oh, well, in that case, how would that file ever exist? Well, if it does, then let's just override it or whatever the correct answer is. Right. 
Right, right, Plus, right. Which line of code is it? Um, burn HTTP HTTPS when IE is... Uh, not, yeah, okay, fine. We don't, all these questions about... Which version of Wix 3x and 4x are impacted? Got it. All right. Right, so this is if you switch to HTTPS from HTTP and they've set this setting, then you get an error, right? And Jacob has sent a pull request for it. Great, because we discussed this, and upgrading, I guess, from HTTP to HTTPS should be really simple. Yeah, and safe. I, and safe. And I do expect it's just adding a flag. But I don't know why we didn't ignore redirect to HTTPS. I wonder why that wasn't set before. Like, under what case is that not safe? Yes, great. Uh, we'll look at that over the weekend. Splash screen resizes on 4K monitor. Mm, I need a 4K monitor. I have one, and I'm pretty sure that this bug was fixed, or is fixed already in uh, Burn 4. Ah. Um, it does still exist in 3. Um. I've looked at the code before in general, in support of general high DPI support in burn. Um, there are two aspects. One is burn, which is in charge of the uh, splash screen. The other is um, Wix standard BA and Themutal, which is responsible for drawing the, uh, the whole UI for a Wix standard BA. Uh, bundle application. Um, but it's it's you know it's a non trivial fix in burn. It's not it's not a big deal. It just requires a little bit of uh you know math. And as we all know math is hard. Okay. So we should take this in Resolve it fixed in four? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the answer. Great. Okay. Need to finish all that bundle work in four. That's what it comes down to, which is just a tautology. All right, cool. Yes. Um, cool. I think we're doing triage then. I agree. Anything anybody else wants to talk about? I have a topic that I will say for the end. Um, unless, I guess Eric and Jacob have their things sorted out. Honestly, I think it'll get responded to in the email. Um, in Wix steps, I think that'll solve it. So uh, I just want to send a heads up. In the next week or so, uh, we'll have another security fix coming out. Uh, we had somebody responsibly disclose <laughs> a very, very minor issue um, in a cursory library in DTF that is a security vulnerability that we will get fixed and roll out in the next, uh, well, we'll get fixed and push the change out in the next week or so. Um, and then <laughs> I guess that means we'll roll another 3.11. Um, I don't know that we need to roll another 3.10 out, though. Basically, just go get this library instead. Uh, is this an issue with custom actions? Nope. No. 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 It's it's a utility function inside DTF that it's a helper function that if you don't use it, you're not exposed. Um, it's not. We we've only done the cursory scan so far, but um, it doesn't look like it's deeply embedded in anything. But it is a function that essentially is insecure if you were to use it, provided by DTF. So one option would be to whack it completely and say implement it yourself. Or we can just go in and implement it ourselves. So pull request for that will be coming out and we'll go have <laughs> to go back into three eleven and um publish a fix for that. Um but we'll have that hopefully next week and then we'll talk about the week after that on um how far we want to push that fix out to people. Um just in case we weren't having enough fun with other things, we need to get to go back and do three eleven code again. Yet again. Yet again. Right. Yet again. 
Um, is uh, Fire Giant volunteering? Yeah, yeah, we're doing yeah. it. Yeah, we got it. it it's it was sent to us. It's a, it's a, going to be a very small fix. We'll we'll do it that way. Uh, finding building works. I'm not quite certain. All right, looking at this. Edit to extension deferred. Then use the resulting build bundle wix and new custom action changes don't seem to make it to the MSI rebuild works. Yeah, it, embedding the custom action DLL into a wix lib that gets embedded into the extension DLL has a series of spots where it can um, not pick up all the changes, unfortunately. And I don't know that we've sat on it long enough to know that that whole build process works um, every time. Because, well, a rebuild will solve it. <laughs> and we haven't done, I guess, a lot of or uh, a lot of changes in the extensions to make that work better. And nobody has stepped up and said, you know what, this bothers me enough. I need to tie it off loop. In Wix 4, it's different, and I think it works a little better. Yeah, the the I, I ran into this, and truthfully, I you know gave up trying to to fix it because I think the problem is it it's the the whole uh, it's a closure of all the different inputs across uh, C sharp, C plus plus, and Wix projects in V three, especially, um, it's kind of problematic. Yeah, and and C sharp depending on. CS projects, depending on Wix lips, uh, on Wix projects, doesn't always work out as solid as you might hope it would. Right. This is why I spent so much time trying to make the Wix three build as multi proc as possible. Because <laughs> a rebuild of could, all was easier than. It really was. You just have to throw money at it. I'm like, okay, that's a great excuse for me to buy that twelve core box. <laughs> Second independent oddity. What's that? Hey, that was my nickname in high school. Second independent oddity? Who yeah. was first? Um, you don't want to know. Oh. <laughs> um... Wix Proj in my simple solution, I get an error about a good format not recognized. Uh, I've seen that the good not recognized when you have a a reference to another project or a Wix extent another project project reference maybe, and you don't have the good of the project in that project reference. If you add it via Orca, it works correctly. Um, or if you add it via Votive, Orca, jeez. If you add it via Votive, it ends up adding all the correct metadata. Um, it's I find it really annoying, but it's something deep in MPF that's like, here, I want all this metadata available on the project reference directly. And if you don't have it, then it gives you that GUID error. Um, other than that, I'm, I suppose there's another place there might be a GUID problem. I think it's a Votive, like MPF, deep in MPF Votive thing that... Uh, it's like, yes, this exception comes out of here, and I don't know what to do there. Yeah, I don't know how often we add the Wix, the stuff that's in the Wix GitHub to the... Um, to external solutions. I don't know how well that works. Like Jacob notes, the build process is, as Bob noted earlier, uh, designed to be driven from the command line and is designed to be highly multi-proc and build everything since there are you know, a third of a million lines of code and they're being pushed around. Um, so it was a lot of optimizations in that direction. Well, and, and the, the projects inside the Wix source tree are as trimmed as we can make them. So, you know, we omit stuff that Visual Studio adds just from the template, you know, its own internal templates. Um, it's, 
it's great because you know you only have in there what, what you need and you know changes are are more obvious you know when you're when your project's 1k versus you know a 6k project it's much easier to look at changes um but it does mean that there are dependencies probably what you're running into is like one of the one of the files that we import from the tools tree in the Wix source. Yeah. Also, I haven't used Visual Studio 20, 2015 in a very, very long time. So it's possible that it was more particular or expected things that um, 2017, which is where most of the Wix code had moved to, um, didn't require need and therefore just works better in 2017. It's like, I don't know. Don't see that problem, and given the on the, uh, on the other hand, uh, the Com Plus extension probably has not received a lot of you know TLC. It its project might be just fine with 2015 <laughs> or you mean 2013, 2013 2012, or 12? yeah, 2010. Probably not 2010. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Frederick wrote it. It was a long time ago. He wrote it before he even joined Microsoft. So yeah, no, I know. I, I'm just thinking, you know. Around then, there were some major changes that we might have had to accommodate. But on the other hand, you can still, as far as as far as I recall, you can still build all of Wix three, minus the the you know native SDK stuff with 2010. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely possible. All of this is true. All of this is known complexities in working with Wix the way that a lot of people expect Visual Studio just to open the project and everything like that. Uh, Wix, believe it or not, all of this build stuff was modeled on the Office Build Lab uh, build system, which because that's where I was when I put a lot of it together. And there are a lot of capabilities of it that were very cool back then in the days before, honestly, a lot of Visual Studio, before MS Build, um, mm -hmm. before MS Build was capable. Uh, it was a very long time before MS Build could do C++ code. So there's a lot of things that are um, very old in the Wix system that in the Wix system that are um, much more modern in the Wix 4 model. And we did not bring you know, Wix out of the... A lot of the Officeisms still live in that old Wix stuff. So you're hitting a lot of those things, and I'm hoping that we address a number of those in Wix 4. And, it's easy to argue that in some cases Wix 4 is a little too modern and has uh, some new challenges in it. But um, Oh, no, we love the micro repos. <laughs> yeah, I do sometimes. Sometimes I still question the, the intelligence of that move. We'll see. Um, hmm. Wasn't that your idea? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm... I'm oh, okay. I, I am not blaming this on anybody but myself. But we will uh, work our way through the learnings of Wix 4... <laughs> And we may end up in a different place, the, which is we may walk the same path that the uh, .NET Core and ASP.NET teams walked. Um, but we may not. We may find that it stabilizes and then it works really well. That's Part of me is still holding out for that hope. Is it intentionally required the XP process? Yes, because we still support XPSP2 the same way we still support MS Build. Three, five, or whatever. So yes, we maintain all these old, um, um, all these old tool sets because we're not breaking compatibility uh, in the Wix three timeframe. We're moving forward only, forward only in Wix four. That said, Wix you can drop XP compatibility in Wix four, right? That said, Wix four still has XP compatibility, but that's because it brought it forward, and because we have not had the debate of is it time to drop the XP um, compatibility. I'm sorry, that's a debatable question. Well, uh, we there is a side that says no. There may be nobody standing on that side, but there is that side, and we need to have that at some point. <laughs> um. Or rather, we need to make that uh, uh, a stated decision, not an accidental mistake kind of thing. That's my, my point. Yeah. A couple of years ago, I asked. I blogged about it because it's like, dude, it's done. I mean, Windows 7 is coming up quickly. so. Yeah, I know. Just sometimes like booting XP on a VM that's not connected to a network. It's just so fast. I know. I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just like, boom, and there it is. Uh, oh, why is having the XP toolchain installed on the... Okay. I, it's not that big. It's a checkbox in Visual Studio these days, but yeah, fair enough. Um, it brings along a fair bit of crud because you have to bring in the old SDK. Oh, is that the problem? Yeah, well, yeah. that's... That's the crud problem. Well, I solved that a long time ago with the multiple versions of Visual Studio. Um, so I guess I haven't uh, lived that pain in a while. Um, another good reason to, for other people to say, hey, maybe we really should drop this XP thing and make that case. I haven't burned it, um, been burned by it in <laughs> my current incantation. But it'd be nice to like wipe my machine, install only one version of Visual Studio, and see <laughs> uh, how expensive things are. Well, we're doing pretty well, but if we do take on Visual Studio 2019, um, the XP toolset... Oh, that's right. It's gone completely. It's, it's gone, yeah. It was deprecated in, I don't know, somewhere toward the end of 2017. Or is it... It might be deprecated now. I forget it's which. It's still deprecated in 2019. You can so still there, turn it on? Yeah, I only have 2019 on my laptop right now. And it's and I working. I was able to build Wix 3 yesterday. All right. So, um, okay, so hey, 2019 still Mark deprecated. At some point, they will pull it. So we have another version of Visual Studio before we have to worry about that. Or we can pull it ourselves before that. <laughs> uh, um, yes, find things to debate, decide, uh, determine, and then make that call. I don't know, it just feels weird. I don't know why XP still feels relevant. I don't know why. It, I, it, I, I don't know. I have no data that it is. It's just mentally my mind hasn't said, yes, XP is gone. But that's purely in my head. Real data would completely shift that. Yes. Well, Wix 3, I don't know that 2019 is supported. Um, yeah, no. I had to do some hacks to get it working, but right. no C++ hacks. Yeah, or, okay. <laughs> I mean, like SDK? Yeah. Yes. It, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> yes. But, it, yeah, it's not supported out of the box. Yeah, but 2017 definitely should. It definitely works. I know I've used it before. Um, ah, the building Wix page may be one step behind on that. The building Wix page probably, yeah, we probably need to spend a little time. We need to, I don't know, at some point we need to rewrite it anyway, and I've just not been getting into it because Wix 4 is different, completely different from Wix 3 anyway, and that's the one I want to write the how to build Wix 4 anyway. Um, but the building Wix one also has a lot of lists of stuff when you, it has everything you need to build Votive, which is more involved than just building the core tool set itself. Um, like Visual Studio 2010 is not needed for building the core tool set, but it is needed if you want to build Votive. Um, although that may have been fixed. Um, the NuGet package? Yeah, because the NuGet package, I think, in the end worked. But that's fairly recent that that was fixed because the build process was such a pain. So anyway, a lot of the build stuff has been done in... Um, in anger, I don't know, like in in out of need as opposed to having a, a lot of the Wix three stuff is done in reaction to changes by Visual Studio that breaks things, and thus in the last minutes as opposed to thoroughly thought out. And I do think the build um, page probably needs to be fixed up. Yeah, like needs XP toolchain wasn't a thing uh, when that doc was written because it was just you know 2015 just supported XP toolchain. until you get to later versions of Windows where they start trying to kill it off, which is fair. All right. Anything else going on out there? Quiet? Okay. Well, it's cool to see this. Nice to know there's a few pull requests to go um, uh, pop through, and we'll see a security fix, which is going to be relatively small uh, once we just decide the correct way to... Um, introduce what would be a breaking change if you were using this, meth this method in the way that it can be um, 
uh, exploited. So, but trying to get that nice small change in there. And I think we're good then. Yeah, the, the security fix will be done to 311. That was the last build that we have out there. Because 314 contains breaking changes, and so we're not going to make the change to 314 and say, here, get 314, because people would have to absorb breaking changes. Because that's the purpose of 314 is to not be a place that you stay, but a place to get you to 4.0. So it has the breaking changes to direct you to 4.0. And since we're not ready to push you to 4.0, we're not ready to push you to 3.14. And since we need a security fix out, yay, uh, it will be pushed into 3.11. There. This won't be a, or I guess I'm asking a question, will this be a, you should definitely take this fix? No. This fixed build, like we've done in the past, because it only affects people using DTF and this particular method. Function? Okay. Yeah. And this is a helper method that I don't even know how many people use. Right. And if they use it, chances are they probably don't even, I don't even know how we get a hold of them. Cause they probably no no way. It. Yeah. So it's just kind of, is production grade yet? No. Four is not production grade yet. Four needs more attention. <laughs> so it's the place that we need to be able to spend more time on that have not been able to spend as much time as I'd like to um, these last few months personally. So I have a huge backlog of of bundle work that is, I don't know, a few more days away from completely fixing, I think, all of the bundle stuff. So that'll be, like, for example. And then there's merge modules, and then there's patching. And those are, like, the three things I know in the core tool set that need to get brought forward into the 4.0. And then it, that maybe just merge modules, I think, puts us in beta. Another 3X release prior to 3.14? No. Well, I mean, there will be a 3.11. What are we up to now? 3.11.2? I think that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yay! And all of them are security fixes, so 3.11.2. Yep, that's the the push. All right. All right, so I think two weeks from now is a normal time slot, middle of September. Um, the 12th, if I'm looking correctly. Does that make sense oh. to you guys? I don't think that's a holiday. Not a holiday or anything special, all right? Wow, I can't get my calendar to come up. Huh. Well, maybe I won't look at my calendar then. <laughs> just trying to see if there's anything funny on the 12th. Nope, just Wix online meeting it says. Um, a day for you. Missed that. A day, for, a day for me. That sounds nice. Do we name it the Jacob Day? <laughs> um, so... Two weeks from now, September 12th, we should uh, be doing all this again. Oh, birthday. Nice. Yay, birthday. Uh, we'll, we'll not sing happy birthday on your birthday because nobody wants to hear me sing happy birthday. Um, nope. <laughs> not I mean, even, not also even, me. I yeah, just, <laughs> not even my mom wants to hear me sing birthday, happy birthday. Um, <laughs> that's how bad it is. Uh, so... Um, then we will do that in two weeks. And uh, by then, we, I expect the topic of that meeting will be uh, the security fix and rolling it out in all the different directions that needs to be rolled out, which is hopefully just 3.11. But we'll have all that done. So two weeks from now, all of you take it easy. Uh, we will continue to communicate on Wix devs about the things going on there. Uh, if you have questions, send them there. And uh, until then. Two weeks. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.